MTS bus riders are continuing to see delays. Bus drivers are still on strike after rejecting an offer yesterday from the MTS contractor that employs them. ABC 10 News reporter Perla Shaheen took the bus today to see what it's like for riders losing money with a bus pass. I rode the 712 from Palomar Station all the way to Southwestern College. This is one of the few buses still in service, and MTS says riders will not be reimbursed for delays. I've actually been affected greatly. Leyland Lynch says she waited more than an hour for her bus to arrive. It's her only method of transportation to get to work at the YMCA. I have to wake up maybe an hour earlier before my shift. These delays are from the MTS bus driver strike in the South Bay. Lynch now avoids using the bus, but says she spent $70 on the Pronto bus pass that went to waste last month. You have to spend extra money to pay for the Ubers or basically waste your money because the bus pass is unreliable at this moment. Many end up taking ride shares to get to their destination on time. In over three weeks, it was like $300 and it sucks because, you know, I'm a college student and I want to save for transferring and all that stuff or for rent, for food. Closer to the hospital, that's the only one. Augustine Hernandez can't afford anything else and had to cancel his doctor's appointment. And I don't know how long it's going to take to, to get the bus today. It's going to take maybe hours or so. Who, who knows? Welcome to the San Diego Metropolitan Transit System. I called MTS to see if riders will receive any compensation for delays and cancellations in transit. Is there any reimbursement for me as a rider? A customer service representative told me even if they have a Pronto Pass, riders will not be refunded. It's a lot of money. Yeah, I'm going to waste, basically. Perla Shaheen, ABC 10 News. The MTS bus driver union called Teamsters rejected their contractor's most recent negotiation offer. Union members say it's because the offer did not meet their top concern with scheduling and split shifts. In a statement, the union wrote a meaningful reduction of unpaid time in the middle of a driver shift was never taken seriously by Transdev. In response, the contractor wrote in a statement, Transdev remains willing to meet at reasonable dates and times to consider proposals. Goes on to say, however, Transdev was sincere when it provided the union its last, best, and final proposal on May 31st, 2023.